Hey guys, this is Sam at Callahan Guitars. Today I'm going to show you how to shorten your saddle height adjustment screws. On the workbench we've got a stock Mexican standard guitar. When you look at your height adjustment screws here, even though this guitar is properly tuned, you can see how high they stick up above the saddle. This makes it difficult to mute as well as uncomfortable to play. You could buy aftermarket screws, however, they're difficult to track down in metric sizes and to get the proper heights would be tough. So we're going to show you how to trim them down so that you have a custom fit for your tuning. Alright guys, so I've got the height adjustment screws out. The next thing we need to determine is how to hold them. I've got two options on the workbench here. For those of you working out of your home, you may already have a cordless drill around. You can use a chuck on it, it's a perfect option for holding these. and it's secured nicely. Another option, which I like a little more, it's called a pin vise. Available in any good hardware store. They come with a few different size collets so that you can use on any different size round stock. Uh, not just your height adjustment screws, although it's perfect for this. It's taken loaded in. And then in either case, you're going to need to transfer your measurement over from what you took off your saddle. Once that's taken care of, you'll tighten it down. Now I like to use a sharpie and I'll take a mark around, around the screw so I know how much material I need to remove. After you have it marked well, take and loosen your collet back up or your chuck if you're using the drill and tighten it a little further out. That way when you go to cut this off, you're not going to run into your tool. All right, so I'm over here in the Callahan machine shop. The only tool here that you might not have access to is a belt sander. Hopefully you have a friend, family member, neighbor, somebody who's got one. It's a perfect tool for doing this. So we have both our options here. I'm going to start with the pin vise. Just take and remove that material. A belt sander you want to work back and forth so that you're not tearing up one particular strip of the paper. You get close, double check it. All right, just about there. Now in either of these cases, you're gonna to wanna to take and put a chamfer back on it. The pin vise allows you to do this pretty well. And with the drill, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, working back and forth. Once we've removed enough material, come over here and chamfer it. This is a little trick part of the drill. It does let you spin it. So we've got a nice chamfer there as well. Please be careful with either of these because it will get the screw extremely hot. You don't want to touch this. All right, so now that they're both cut down and chamfered, we're going to take them back over to the guitar and reinstall them. All right, so I'm back over at the guitar. You've done everything correctly. Your saddles are going to be level. Should be pretty close to back in tune. It's pretty close. Now you're going to want to repeat these steps on the rest of your saddles. And when you're finished, you're going to have a custom set of screws for your tuning and setup. And you're going to do away with all the issues you had with overly, overly tall height screws. We want to thank you for watching. We hope this has been helpful.